Alright, I kept you guys out of the first part of this trip. I'm headed down to Corpus Christi, so that's about five hours from where I'm at or where I live. I'm about an hour and a half into the trip right now. Um, still got a little ways to go, but I didn't figure you guys wanted to sit with me the entire drive. So my nephew, my nephew Brandon, uh, he's my oldest nephew. He was my only nephew for a long while. Um, but anyways, my oldest nephew is a freshman in high school, and he just got picked up to play on the varsity football team and tonight he's going to premiere uh, his varsity debut so it's kind of a, a really big deal unfortunately me and my wife weren't able to come down here for any of his other games We've had a lot of things going on a lot of doctor appointments and driving back and forth and a lot of expenses but my wife thought it'd be a really cool idea for us to come down here and come watch him play and i was like that's an awesome idea like i'm on board with that 100 percent unfortunately my wife got sick yesterday and she's at home not feeling too well so I, we kind of already said we were going to make the trip she didn't want to be hurting for a five hour ride today going down there and then another five hour ride coming back and then worry about getting everybody else sick and just so she made the decision that she was going to go ahead and stay home so it's just me today i'll be driving like i said five hours today another five hours tomorrow but it's well worth it like i said i'm very very proud of my nieces and nephew and uh, you know he's, he's doing big things so I couldn't be happier so the least I can do is come down here and show my support so we're gonna fast track and hopefully we can get there quick another hour and a half down so we're getting there little by little I got about I would honestly say maybe about another hour and 45 minutes worth of driving and then I'll be back home where I grew up I'm, my sister actually doesn't even know that I'm getting here this early originally we were supposed to leave at 2 in the afternoon once my wife got out of work but because my wife isn't feeling good and because she didn't come I was off all day and just told myself like why don't I just leave now uh, quicker I get there the more time I get to spend relax you know before we go to the football game enjoy the game get some rest and then do this drive all over again tomorrow. So we're almost there. For you guys, it'll be a couple seconds and then we'll be there. So I made it here. As soon as I got here, the pepper alley was starting, so we went straight into the pepper alley. Then I went to go eat real quick, and now we're gonna go hang out at my sister's for at least another hour. Then we're gonna head over to the game. So I got to go visit my grandma and my aunt and stuff, going back to all the places where I grew up, and it's just, it's crazy. Everything is exactly the same from when I was a kid.
Well, it's the next morning. It's 9.30, and I'm headed back home. So 10 hour drive, or sorry, five hour drive yesterday. And then we had to drive from where I got to my sister's house about an hour and a half maybe to the game. An hour and a half after the game, went home, relaxed, took a nap, got up, ate, and now we're back on the road for another five hour drive. So it is what it is. I enjoy coming down here. I enjoyed seeing everybody. I got to meet my best friend's son. Hadn't met him. I've been, you know, trying to make time to come down here and, and actually come and see him and meet him. He's 10 months old. So I got to meet him. So that was really, really cool. Um, and then of course, like I said, I got to watch my nephew. So they're 11 and 0. They're, they're doing really good. They're doing big things, you know, undefeated. So good luck. I don't know if they're playing next week or the week after, but you know, good luck to them. And here we go again, back on the road. made it home so my wife did a really good job and cleaned up and did stuff around the house even though she probably shouldn't have because she was sick but I made it home safe and sound I'm about to start getting ready for work it's been a really really long day it's gonna be a really long night but like I said before it was worth it so Brandon if you're checking this video out I'm proud of you boy um his birthday is actually this week on Thanksgiving this year so I just want to tell you I'm proud of you, man. I wouldn't have drove down there and gone to see you had I not, you know, been proud of you or if I didn't believe in you. So keep doing what you're doing. You're doing awesome things. Make sure you take care of your sisters. Your sisters are doing awesome things. I mean, it's just awesome. For my viewers, I know this wasn't the most interesting vlog out of like a 14-hour span. I spent about, well, no, maybe it was probably about a good... um almost 20 hour span so in a, in a matter of 20 hours i was in a car driving for i say a good 13 14 of those hours so didn't really spend a lot a lot of time with a lot of people but i enjoyed seeing everyone i enjoy you know being around everyone and and being there for my family when i can be so thank you to my sister for letting me stay at your house um you're, you're doing an awesome job with these kids. I can't tell you that enough. You're doing awesome. I mean, they're, the kids are doing great. Everyone's doing great. I couldn't be happier. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for checking this out. I do want to tell you guys kind of a sneak peek, a little bit of information. I went and met the newest member of my family today. So that's going to be kind of a up and coming video. I'll let you guys know more about that. As that comes and as that happens, the only clue I'm going to give you guys is I have to wait till about December before our new family member gets to come home. So again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Like this video, share it, do what you got to do, and I'll see you on the next one.